Hi, in this video we shall be developing ARCH modeling in uh, in eViews. So as you know, uh, ARCH uh, stands for auto regressive conditional heteroscedasticity and is the model that is uh, used uh, generally when uh, facing some difficulty in uh, armor modeling due in general to the uh, heteroscedasticity of uh, of the error term. So as you know, in uh, in armor modeling. Uh, error term should be normally distributed, uh, non uh, non autocorrelated, and almost statistic. So sometimes we can have uh, uh, normality or residual. We can have non autocorrelation and do not do not have uh, hetero uh, almost statistic. So uh, ARCH model is a methodology that is uh, that came to correct some uh, some. Uh, some volatility due to the heteroscedasticity of error term in uh, in armor modeling. So, for the purpose of this tutorial, we have a financial series uh, here called financial cell that we are going to model using uh, Ash model. And this is the first time you are watching one of my video. Do not hesitate to subscribe and activate the notification bell in order not to lose my next video. So. Uh, Coming back into our, in our into our topic, so we have this financial theory that I will open. Then uh, first of all, look at graph view and going in view graph. Then click on OK, and you can see that uh, we have uh, we can visualize visualize the uh, evolution of our series in uh, in the time from uh, 20 uh, from 2001 to 2020 so uh, as we have seen the evolution of our series we can look at uh, stationary of uh, our series which is the the first step in armor uh, modeling in general box jenkins methodology so uh, if our series is not stationary, we can uh, differentiate our series in order to have a uh, stationary series. So we look at a uh, unit roof test of our series by going in view and then click on uh, unit roof test. So we will keep uh, augmented decay fuller test, then click on OK. And we can see that our p-value is 0.000, meaning that uh, our series is uh, clearly stationary because uh, p-value more than 1% uh, entail the uh, rejection of null hypothesis which is the presence of the unit roof in our series. So our series is though stationary. So we can model uh, our series using ARMA uh, process without uh, differentiating. So the second step after looking for uh, the stationary of uh, of our theory will be to uh, to analyze the the uh, correlogram in order to see which uh, armor process we will use in the modeling of our series. So let us look at the histogram of our series by going on view and then correlogram. So let look at the correlogram of our series, not the histogram as I said. So uh, the histogram of our series say that we can use uh, impartial correlation that give auto auto regressive term to put in our series one two three auto correlation auto correlate uh, auto uh, correlation term in our uh, in our model because after uh, one two three we have a value of auto correlation which is in our confidence interval but for our autocorrelation, which materialize the moving average terms, so we can uh, notice the, that the presence of two uh, autocorrelation, uh, two moving average term in our armor model. So we can model our series with three. Uh, there are three candidates to our model. So we have we can have uh, auto armor uh, three two. We can have AR three. We can have MA two in our series. Let us uh, first estimate our uh, armor three two. So let's go on quick and then click on estimate equation and then click on and uh, our series is uh, financial financial series. We have the constant in our model. We have uh, a AR1 
we have AR2 in our series, we have AR3, we have MA1, we have uh, MA2, then we click on OK. And we can see that our ARMA 3.2 model have been estimated and the MR term are not significant and we can notice also that that inverted unit roof test we have one uh, inverted unit roof test that is equal to one that means that it's not a good model so we can check for uh, our you can uh, delete uh, MR term because of no significance so we can keep our AR, uh, AR3 model so we have our coefficient that are significant in our model I have a R square of 0 0.11 and we have all inverted unit roof that are uh, half uh, uh, module less than one so we can uh, check at a residual diagnostic test like uh, normality test go in view uh, residual diagnostic and then click on normality test we can see that the p-value is 0 0.05 which is more than five percent meaning that our our error term no is normally distributed so uh, p-value more than five percent mean that uh, our we accept our null hypothesis which is the normality of our series so let us look uh, at uh, autocorrelation term by, by using our residual term so let's go on residual and look at a histogram of um, a correlogram of our uh, residual term so we can see that the correlogram of our residual term here half is value in our interval and in confident interval and ac uh, value are close to zero with a probability that are more than generally more than five percent so we can uh, assume that our error term are non-autocorrelated let us look uh, finally as at the uh, the heteroscedasticity of our uh, model of our error term so let's go on view residual diagnostic heteroscedasticity test and then uh, select ash test then click on ok and you can see that our test of heteroscedasticity our p-value is uh, 0 0.0029 which is less than five percent meaning that our seri uh meaning uh in telling the rejection of our null hypothesis which is uh the homoscedasticity so our error term is uh, heteroscedastic which is not a good a good news for our model because error terms should, should be homoscedastic uh, and we'll try to correct this uh, homoscedasticity of our error term using ash model so our ash test including uh one uh including one lack in our series uh, tell that our error term are not uh, heteroscedastic so we'll estimate our ash model because of the heteroscedasticity of our error term and then we'll go on to do so we'll go on estimate and the previous method that we have use here were least square so we we'll let least square and go to ash to regressive conditional heteroscedasticity and then click on ok then click on that we have the by default value of ash term which is one we also have a uh, gash effect so we'll keep uh, zero in gash effect telling that there is not a uh, gash in our model supposing that so we'll keep one error term ash so we click on ok and we can see that uh, all our coefficients are still uh, significant which are ash model uh, we have the variance equation that uh, give the relationship because the square in between the square root of our error term uh, the square of our error term and the uh, lag values 
So you can see that now the p-value is uh, more than 5%. That is good for our ash modeling. So we can now uh, look at uh, uh, error term diagnostic after estimating our ash model. Go on view. You can look first of all at normality test. And you can see that p-value is still uh, more than 5%. Uh, meaning that our error term is normally distributed. We can also look at our residual term chronogram that have the same uh, the same feature as previously in our AR3 series, and we can uh, look at uh, normality at uh, iterus uh, scalarity test by going on view residual diagnostic and. Uh, Ash LM test select Ash, then click on OK, and you can see that our p value now is more than 5%, meaning that uh, the error term of our Ash model estimated is uh, almost classic because p value more than 5% until the rejection, the acceptation of our null hypothesis, which is almost classic of our error term. So you can see that in our AR3 model, we have a uh, E error term that is not uh, that is uh, iteroscedastic and after running our ash model we can notice that our uh, error term is now iteroscedastic almost scedastic meaning that our ash model modeling have uh, ameliorated our error term uh, shape so uh, if you have not done so uh, do subscribe to the uh, channel and activate the notification bell in order not to lose the next videos and anytime soon in uh, anytime soon